Hi guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe para lagi kayong updated sa mga video na i-upload ko sa aming YouTube channel. Isang magandang araw po sa ating lahat, lalong-lalo na sa lahat ng ating mga SSS pensioners dito sa ating bansa. Nagbigay muli ng panibagong pahayag ang SSS patungkol sa naturang dagdag pensyon ng ating mga pensioners. Makukuha na nga ba ng ating mga SSS pensioners ang kanilang pinakahihintay na dagdag 1,000 pesos sa kanilang pensyon? Patapusin lamang po ang video ito. Ang balitang ito ay nakalap sa House of Representative and Social Security System at sa Chachas TV. Please, uh, uh, maintindihan po natin yung sitwasyon, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you, representative ko. Mr. Uh, Chair, a short clarification. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, to our attorney, Colminares, you're recognized. Thank you po. Well, una muna, ang actuarial study, I never contested SSS actuarial studies. Actuarial studies are, uh, this is the prediction, uh, if you do the same things, you're doing more or less. Ang sinasabi ko lang, tama naman yun, kaya lang we should do something different para hindi maabot yung, kung, yung ending na yun. Kaya it's not really true that I contested their actuarial studies. In fact, I never mentioned it in my entire talk. Secondly, I never referred to the labor force, the 40 million. In fact, if you if you look, we look at the transcript, kung sinasabi ko, ang paying members, yung total members, for example, 2019, 37 million members. Ang paying ay 17 million lang. So ano nangyari sa 20 million na members na hindi nakolekta ang kanyang uh, contribution? Tapos yung non-posting sa banko, hindi hindi siya minimal eh. Uh, kasi ang sabi ko naman impact niya, hindi dun sa unfunded liability pa, although it helps. Kundi, hindi ba nawawala ng interest earnings ang SSS dito? I'm just asking that question. And secondly, impact niya siyempre sa members na nagbayad na pero na-declare siya na idelinquente kasi hindi na-post yung kanyang bayad na premium. Yun ang impact. So, I'm glad that the SSS admitted na they're still trying to, you know, to fix that. It has been happening for so many years na eh. So, at least my for kayo to fix that, that's good. So, basic, uh, ang financial literacy ay para doon sa sabi kanina na ang first layer lang ng SSS, uh, savings and private insurance, yung second layer. So, doon ang galing yun kasi opening statement yun ng SSS para sa mga authors ng bill. And lastly, yung sa poor collection was mentioned but it was not explained. So, hanggang ngayon, hindi natin alam kung poor collection na ba o hindi. Basta, I'd just like to end and reiterate that increase in collection rate efficiency is is going to help a lot sa ating uh, may membro at sa mga pensioners and it will help increase the funding of SSS, increase its ag actuarial life because of the collection of uncollected or unremitted. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.